Arizona election officials had to send a cease and desist notice to a Republican candidate because she kept encouraging her supporters, get this, to steal pens at polling places. And she has this whole conspiracy theory like whipped up in her mind about what the pens, those dangerous demonic pens represent. So Gail Golick is her name. She's a GOP candidate for Maricopa County Supervisor. And she told her supporters on August 2nd to take felt tip pens provided at ballot boxes, echoing baseless election related claims that ballots would not be counted if they are filled with other kinds of ink. So here's a tweet where she you know, displayed her insane conspiracy theory for everyone. Protect your vote, share, felt tip pens cause overvotes, which cause adjudication where votes can be changed. Maricopa County allows for artificial intelligence to adjudicate. Do not buy their BS, the cheat is on, hashtag use blue ink. And on her Telegram account, because obviously, uh, Golic told her supporters to Take the Pentel pen with you and leave a blue pen behind. Eventually, they'll run out of those demonic pens. Now, she's potentially actually hurting herself by doing this. I'll explain how in a moment, but John, thoughts? Yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna need a little bit of that explanation because a, a lot of the times these theories are difficult to follow. What is she hoping to accomplish here? She wants people to not be able to vote? Well, she thinks the pens that are there, if you use them, won't count for some reason. But if you take them, then most people won't have a pen and they won't be able to vote. Like, how does that benefit her? Is the idea that all of her people will know to bring the special pen right. that does register to vote? What? It's absolute madness. Man, Arizona, what is up with Arizona? It's basically dry Florida. That's all it is, they really need to get their stuff together because they generate some of the craziest people in the country these days. Especially Maricopa County, like Maricopa County seems to be a very special place in the country. Now, as I mentioned, county officials, election officials had to send cease and desist letters to this candidate urging her to stop telling people to steal their pens. You have county attorney Rachel Mitchell who even tweeted about this saying, hey folks, happy election day. This is a friendly reminder, please do not steal county property. But that didn't dissuade Golic, uh, whose name sounds too similar to Gollum, let's keep it real, from continuing <laughs> to uh, push her theory, she kept doing it. But there's no evidence that felt tip pens are deliberately being used to alter votes. County election officials recommend felt tip pens because they are fast drying as opposed <sighs> to ballpoint and gel pens, which can leave more residue and that could actually hurt certain votes, right? Uh, if there's too much residue, that could deem um, a ballot unreadable by the machines. So something to keep in mind for all of those individuals pushing insane conspiracy theories about elections. Make sure you know what you're talking about.